Alrighty guys, welcome to your 15th Ruby tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about the different kinds of tests or the different types of comparison operators that you can have. So you know before that we had this test that says if weight is less than 150, well a less than isn't the only test that you can have. You can also have, let me go ahead and uh, get my cursor right, you can also have greater than so if their weight was greater than 150 then this would be true you can also have equals to now I want to talk to you guys whenever you're writing the equals to test you write two equal signs a lot of people a lot of beginners always have one equal sign but this isn't the correct way to do it the only time in Ruby programming when you ever use one equal sign is when you're assigning a value to a variable such as the case when weight equals 600. Whenever you want to test two values such as test whether weight is equal to 150 you use two equal signs. So just remember that two equal signs is for testing and one equal sign is for assigning values to variables. So what this is going to do is it's going to say okay is weight exactly equal to 150? If it's 149, if it's 151, it's not going to work. It's going to be false. The only time this test is going to be true if weight equals 150. And in this case, where weight equals 600, if we go ahead and run this, it's going to be false so nothing gets outputted. Um, another test, let me go ahead and move my cursor again, is greater than or equal to. So in this case, if the weight is greater than or equal to for example 150 or greater then this is going to be true and then of course you have less than or equal to and the last thing is not equal to so basically this test basically means the exact opposite of equal to so whenever we have equal equal the weight must equal 150 exactly whenever we have weight explanation point equal to this means weight not equal to basically if the weight is anything but 150 then this test is going to be true so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and code something real quick um you do not weigh 200 pounds if weight is not equal to 200 so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get it says you do not weigh 200 pounds and that is because our weight is 600 but what if we go ahead and set weight equal to 200 well then whenever we run this code you do not weigh 200 pounds if weight is not equal to 200 then it says nothing that is because our weight is equal to 200 therefore this test was not true and our code did not run so there you go, there is all of your uh, comparison operators, and now that I have some time left, I might as well teach you guys about one more thing, and that's the double ampersand sign. Now this little key is above the 7 on your keyboard, and this is what you use whenever you want to test more than one condition. So by condition, I just mean a test. Weight is not equal to 200 as a test, weight is less than 150 as a test, but what if you wanted to test multiple tests at once? Well, let me go ahead and show you guys an example. Let's go ahead and set our person's weight equal to 170 pounds. Oops, I forgot to put an equal sign, and that's what happens when you don't put an equal sign. So now, let me do it properly. Weight equals 170. So just remember that our person weighs, or we can just say that I weigh 170 pounds. Now we want to run a test, and we just want to output on the screen, you are healthy if not only does the weight have to be greater than 100 but say the healthy range is from 100 to 300 pounds we're being very generous generous here so not only does your weight need to be greater than 100 pounds but also we want to run an additional test and your weight needs to be what I say weight needs to be less than 300 so what it's going to do is it's going to test both of these things is your weight greater than 100 and is your weight less than 300 if so output on the screen you are healthy so let's run enter and see what we get it says we are healthy because our weight was 170 pounds it was in the healthy range so again just remember this whenever you want to test multiple tests you need to 
um, join them with a double ampersand sign, the sign above the 7 on your keyboard. So let's say that the weight was actually 600. This obviously is not healthy for any human being, no matter who you are. So now whenever you run this test, check it out. Is the weight greater than 100? Well, yes it is, so this test passed, but is the weight less than 300? No. So it's going to make both of these tests, it's going to try them, even though this one was true, this one was false, so it's not going to output, you are healthy. So go ahead and hit enter, and it says no without outputting anything. So again, just remember that, whenever you have multiple tests using them with a double ampersand sign, both of the tests need to be true in order for you to run the code. Did I say run the code? Run the code. If one of those or both of those are false, then it's not going to run. So there you have it. That is how you use um, multiple comparison operators and multiple tests using the double ampersand. Hopefully you guys understand now. So in the next tutorial, I'm not even going to tell you guys. You guys are just going to have to watch because it's going to be awesome. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.